Hi everyone, it's Daniel from Rolling Tank Productions here and basically this is the start of a video tutorial chain I shall be making showing you all how to make games. So we're going to start with a program called Game Maker that um, is really good for making simple games, betas, demos and when you get good with it you can make anything you like really. So I've gone on to yoyogames.com to get the program and you click on Make, Game Maker 8 and basically you click the box at the top and there's a download button here and uh, you download it like that install it as you would any other program so on and so forth, I'll leave you to do that right so I've got 10 minutes because it's a YouTube video damn oh well so I'm going to start by showing you a uh, little demo e type thing very quickly because I keep going over, this is my fourth time trying to film this so basically um, th I'm going to try and show you how to use Game Maker. See button to click play, spacebar to shoot. And basically by the end of this you should have something similar to this, but with your own graphics and such. Uh, the idea is not to make an amazing shooter, but to get you familiar with the program so you can make whatever you want. So that was that very quickly just to show you roughly what we're gonna end up with. So if we have in Game Maker, if it is the first time you've opened it, it will ask you if you want to run in advanced mode or simple mode. Do not be scared by it saying advance. Click advance. Because basically it just gives you a few more options and stuff that uh, become useful later. And it's not that bewildering anyway. So basically your Game Maker games are made of rooms and objects. So an object is anything that does anything. And a room is where the things that do anything can do whatever they're doing. So we're going to create a room straight off, and we're given a nice blank canvas, which has got nothing, because we've got no objects. So um, this is where the game takes place, and you can make things like menus and such. So we're going to rename this game room, because this is where the game's going to happen. And then um, straight off, we're going to create an object by clicking the blue sphere here. Now. When naming objects, it's always a good idea to put OBJ, which obviously means object. Um, because later on, when we're using variables and GML coding language and such, it can get the, it can get confusing with variables compared to names and such. And when your project gets bigger, you'll run into that a lot. So it's a really good idea to put OBJ. So we're going to make first the player's ship. Now, obviously, this is a really basic object that will be, at the moment, moving left and right and shooting bullets upwards. So here we have the sprite. Now the sprite is basically the graphic for an object. With no sprite, the object's invisible to the player. So we're going to accept that and click the Pac-Man symbol here, which is to create a sprite. So once again, we're going to put a little abbreviation so we know what it is and put ship. So if I go on to edit, new, we have our dimensions, which you can choose whatever you like. And basically, we've got a little version of Paint or Photoshop, which is all you need to start off. Obviously, when first making your game, you need to get the mechanics down before doing any flashy graphics. Because it is, even if graphics are the first thing you see, it's the gameplay that keeps you playing the game. So, it's a very nicely basic ship made of rectangles. I'm sure you can all do better. You can pause the video. And uh, spend a little time longer on your um, sprites. So to, to give our object a look, we're going to use this drop down menu and select the ship. And if we look in our game room, we now have an object to place, which is ship. And we can pull him there. So now we have our ship in the game room. Now obviously it's not doing anything at the moment because we haven't told it to. And I'm going to explain how objects work. So here you can see we have an event column and then a large box for actions. Now obviously an event is when something happens and an action is an action that takes place. Mm. So our first event by clicking the add event button is going to be keyboard left. So obviously now the event is when the left arrow on the keyboard is pressed whatever we put in the actions box it takes place. Now when I first started using Game Maker I um, pretty much just showed myself everything so as a beginner I was like, oh, I'll use a move command, very good. No, <laughs> basically. For what we're making, jump to position is a lot nicer. It's smoother, 
and also it will let us have diagonal movement and such later on without having to mess around with extra variables or making things too complicated. So in there we're going to put minus 4. And if you know your axe axes, 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 then that's why we're doing that. Now, relative needs to be clicked for this because this means we're going to move minus 4 pixels relative to the object's location. So instead of jumping to the coordinate minus 4, 0, we're going to be moving from the current object. So if we duplicate this now, but say right, simply delete the minus. Now obviously, as I said, the idea of this tutorial isn't to make an amazing shooter, it's to get you using the program. So, your game, want to make your ship move faster, increase the number, want to make it move slower, lower the number. So now if we click the green arrow, which is to test our game, wait for it to load on that, we should now have a nice rectangular ship that moves left and right with the press the arrow buttons, which we do. Very good. Six minutes in already. Right. Now what am I doing? Bullet. Okay, so now we're going to create another object, and once again we stick with OBJ and put bullet. Now obviously we have no sprite for it at the moment, so we'll leave that. But basically, we're going to use the create event. This is a very powerful event and is used for setting variables, for configuring the score and such. So basically it means when this object is created, whatever we put in here works, happens even. So we are going to move use this now, because this sets the movement. So if we put 6, this basically means now, when the bullet's created, it will move up at 6, and it will keep moving up at 6 because we've set it to. So we're going to just move this down here, and go on our sprite, SPR bullet, and once again, we're going to make a bullet sprite. There we go. There's our bullet sprite. So now, can drop down menu, there's our ship from earlier, and the bullet sprite selected. So now we have this that goes up. Now one thing we're going to add to this that will save us later on is we're going to go into other and outside room. Because at the moment we've told our bullet to go upwards. Now it will go upwards and it will continue to go upwards for infinity or until the game's closed. This is because Game Maker will only do what you tell it to. And without telling it what to do when the bullet's not in the game room anymore it will still calculate its coordinates and can still count it as an active instance and will basically clog up the game later on and then it will lag and your computer will explode and then everyone will be unhappy and we don't want that so all we're going to say here is when the bullet's outside the room destroy self which is in main one and with the little recycle bin symbol simple as so in these last two minutes now get our ship shooting so we're going to add event keyboard not keyboard sorry right keyboard is the button being constantly held if we did that for our bullet it would create a constant line of bullets which we don't want so for now we're going to go key press space create instance using main one again and we say bullet relative so this creates the bullet relative to its own position so basically our ship will create the bullet at itself and that's all there is to that bit. So if we run the game now, we will have our ship moving left and right, and it will be firing our rectangle bullets. Ta -da. Okay, so in this very last minute, we are going to quickly look at this. This is the background button here. So if we press this now, we can create our background. If I quickly load one. That do. And then to set your background, you basically go into your game room, background, and it's another drop down menu here, and it's easy as that. So there's our background. And if we want it to scroll like we're flying, we can put some something in the vertical speed there. <sighs> okay. So it's the end of this video. The uh, next one, we'll move on to adding enemies and um, some sound effects, possibly. So thanks for watching. The next one should be up instantly after this one. So um, go find it on that drop down menu in the YouTube bit. And uh, we carry on from there. Goodbye.